yesterday back in the 80s and that just sets up the uh, the very active day we're going to have tomorrow that unstable air entering the picture as it uh, stays around for tomorrow storms look like they're likely 59 degrees right now looking out over the downtown you know, the BJCC looking uh Pretty good this morning, although a little cloudy, a little mild in some spots. Upper 40s from uh, Asheville up to Gaz and mid 50s and upper 50s everywhere else, really on the map. 49, I mentioned in Talladega. So the future cast is going to be very, very important here over the next 24 to 36 hours. So the future cast off to our west. You see showers and storms firing up later on this afternoon and into the evening hours. This is all associated with the same storm system that brings us severe weather on Thursday. By later on tonight, a line of storms starts to form and moves off to the east through Louisiana into Mississippi. By Thursday afternoon, it's right on our doorstep. Three to four o'clock, this line of storms moves through central Alabama. It will be strong, and some spots, severe weather is likely. We'll show you where exactly coming up. So the future cast shows everything should move out by 6 a.m. on Friday early morning. So the severe risk for most of the deep south and most of the U.S. is actually way off to our west, but look how far this extends north, all the way from Chicago down to the border of Mexico through through Texas. So the future cast for us, a little closer to home, this is Thursday afternoon. Note the time, 3 o'clock. By, say, 5 o'clock, these storms right on our doorstep, Alabama-Mississippi state line. They push across central Alabama throughout the evening time hours. From 7 to 8 o'clock, they're the I-65 corridor. Back into East Alabama by, say, 11 to midnight. And then out of here, most of the severe risk is done by, say, 2 a.m. on early Friday morning. There's a small chance that we could see some supercell thunderstorms fire up along this line. However, it looks like the storms are going to form in the form of a line and push on through. The severe risk for us tomorrow includes an enhanced risk for most of West Alabama due to the storms in the afternoon and early evening hours. This is a little bit different than the risk that we had on last Sunday where the storms moved in overnight. So the timing of this is actually going to enhance that severe weather risk. High winds associated with that line of storms that moves in, that will be the greatest threat. Tornadoes cannot be ruled out. Once again, large hail and flooding do not look likely with this event. Of course, we got another day to look at this, but it looks like timing and impacts wise, that's what we're looking at for Thursday. Mostly cloudy, even warmer for today than it was yesterday. Low 80s. Clouds remain around, stays mild. Temperatures in the 60s. It's a weather aware day for Thursday. Severe storms are likely, at least most parts of central Alabama, especially in our west. Showers early on Friday, then a nice Easter weekend and week after coming up for us. Guys?